What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we got another massive tech unboxing. This one is number, somebody look it up cause. 54. 54. Yeah been a while but we're coming back big this is the holiday edition uh, this one's a little bit early so we're gonna do two holiday editions this year you know it's our annual treat but this time twice so that means a bunch of gift cards so hopefully that can help you out with purchasing some gifts for the holidays but you know the deal you guys grab your snacks grab your drinks maybe some eggnog because we got a lot of tech to open up but before we get started we do have to give a shout out to today's sponsor T-Mobile. Now you might've heard me mention that I'm a T-Mobile customer in previous videos. I've actually been a T-Mobile customer since I was like 16 years old, almost two decades over here. We're not gonna get to give exact numbers. It's like just about two decades. In June will be two decades. Wow, all right. No one asked for all of that. Needless to say, I've been a customer for a really long time with never having any intentions to switch because I've always had great speeds and just solid service overall. What's great for T-Mobile customers now though is that you get all of these extra features. One of my favorites now since I'm a frequent traveler is being able to get unlimited Wi-Fi while on a plane in the air. And this is gonna be great for the holiday season considering there's a lot of folks who are gonna be traveling to see family, take vacations. It's awesome to be on a plane and answer emails, use social media apps, watch videos, all the things that we typically do, but for free. And what's great is while you're traveling abroad, you also get access to Wi-Fi calling and unlimited texting, so you can still keep in touch without having to worry about paying any extra fees if you take advantage of Wi-Fi calling. Another huge benefit is Netflix on us, so if you're a T-Mobile customer, you get access to the basic Netflix plan on T-Mobile. For free Netflix, who can be mad at that? Uh, and there's just so much more, especially on Tuesdays. They've got special deals happening all the time. If you guys wanna learn more about T-Mobile and become a T-Mobile customer, I'll of course have links down below in the description. Take it from me, I've been a very happy customer for a while now. So come on in, join the T-Mobile family and check the links down below. But all right, now, Ari, you know the deal. I want this big black box right here. I knew it, I knew it. All right. <laughs> Absolutely knew it. I'm okay with that. I'm really curious. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I did some really cool stuff with Forza, and I got some goodies to walk away with inside of this box. Come check it out. So this is actually really cool. So we'll start with the big boy right here. So check it out. Got a custom Forza Motorsport helmet. So this is the actual one that I wore while doing some racing out in Vegas. Like I thought I was going stupid fast, but the actual driver in front of me made me feel like I was driving like a Prius. But this is what I wore. It's a legitimate race helmet. As your average consumer on the side, Forza Motorsport. Uh, yeah, this is gonna go into Gamers Paradise downstairs for sure. But they also came with a few other things, some legitimate racing gloves. But the gloves- I wanna gloves... try on the helmet. You wanna try on the helmet? Yeah. You gotta take off your glasses. <laughs> Why? Oh. Cause it's a helmet. Oh my gosh. Wait, so how do they do this? I guess they do contacts? Oh, oh. my God. Look, it's Ari, you guys. <laughs> wow. Oof, shit, babe. Sorry. Did I hit your nose? You hit my nose on my lip. I'm sorry. We got this really dope jacket. Ooh, that's nice. This is so sick. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks really good like, on you. Come on now. It fits really well. Yes, it's supposed to. They got my size. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, this was dope. We also got some really cool Xbox controllers to commemorate Forza Motorsport dropping. So it was an awesome time. If you're not following me on Instagram, this is the kind of cool stuff you're missing out on. All right, Jay, you're next. <laughs> oh, so the company Eve actually reached out. They wanted to send over some really cool smart home products. Since we just got the new studio, they were like, listen, let's send you some cool gear that you could potentially use to outfit, you know, what you've got going on over here. And they sent a ton of stuff. So these all work with Apple HomeKit. They have built on thread. This is a light switch, smart water controller, light strips, 
Okay, so this is a water guard, which is a water leak detector. Connected weather station, lets you know exactly what temperature and the weather is outside. Wireless contact sensor for your windows and doors. I've also got a security camera. Motion sensor over here. Indoor air quality monitor. Smart power plug. I've also got an energy strip. Outdoor camera. Oh, I like this built-in uh, floodlight right here. And last but not least, a portable smart LED lamp. But all right, yeah, this is... No! This is a lot of gear. That's dope because some people do like the HomeKit ecosystem. So if you are looking for HomeKit options for like smart home stuff, Eve has a ton. All right, Carl, what we, what we doing? This one right here? I, pre I appreciate you, fam. Ultrasonic cleaning machine? Did I buy this? I'm fine. Okay, so it has to be cool. Oh, but if Jay bought it? <laughs> Jay, I love you, man, but it's a toss up. I get, I get it. All right. This ultrasonic cleaning machine. This thing is. Is this like a jewelry cleaner? This, this wasn't meant for Massive Tech. This must have just been a. A purchase for the house, and it got caught up in the wrong boxes. Sorry, Carl, this was a bust. All right, Dom, what are we doing? Nice and easy. Okay. This is, this is some brand on Amazon that makes different kinds of items, but they always look really high-end. They were the ones who made that like really high-end looking air pump. Yeah. Oh, this is a precision screwdriver kit. We've bought a bunch of those motorized screwdrivers in the past, but this one looks really high end. Maybe I have a problem. This and flashlights. <laughs> oh, this gives you like everything you need. So this is a little different than like the typical stuff that we buy. So this is the screwdriver right here. And this, oh, this whole thing is a charging case for it. Forward, reverse. You have a little switch for faster speeds. And of course you have all of your bits over here. You got these tools to pry stuff open. Yeah, for sure. If you got a tinkerer in your life, this would be a perfect gift for that. And this is, oh, it's like an air duster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is, this is clean looking though. So it pushes the air out over here. This is the intake. So it comes with these different nozzles. This one can take in. So if you want to vacuum, you can go ahead and do that. Comes with a nice travel pouch. This is actually, oh, I love this material. And a few more nozzles. This is cool. Okay, so this is something I was supposed to open months ago, like back in August. Really? Yeah, but you haven't shot a uh, mass yeah, boxing. It's been a while. So it's been a while. We're waiting for that, so here you go. Whoops! This came from a follower. Do you remember the guy we did um, that Microsoft Micro Center giveaway with? Uh -huh. Chris. Yeah. So he wants to send you a thank you for that from like. Really? Yeah. Oh, is this a Gundam box? <laughs> My man. All right, here's a custom painted Gundam that I made for you. Tell Ari, it's always nice to work with the winning team. All right, all right. <laughs> I, I can't imagine an episode where we lost, Jay, so I don't, I don't know. No, I'm pretty sure we won because I, I had that trophy in my handle for like ages. It's still there. I don't remember it. <laughs> yeah, How Jay, nice. we How don't remember it. that. Okay, that is sick. A custom painted Gundam, hold on. This is my love language, man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We had the nerve to drop the box. I can't believe I dropped it. <laughs> oh man, so we've got a custom painted Wing Zero Custom over here. Oh, that's funny, it's, it is Wing Zero Custom. But yeah, it's got the teal and gray accents. Oh man, you shall go right here for now. Are we talking to them now, babe? W what do you mean? You I said just... you, you shall go right here for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let's see what's in here. Oh. All right, y'all, so check it out. We just got the newest kicks from my boy Marquez. These are the Adams. This is the 251, I believe it's 0.1. So we got a new colorway. Yeah, Ooh, this is. That's nice. This is so Marquez. So much, I feel like this is a lot lighter than the last one. So if you don't know, Marquez dropped some kicks a while back. Uh, this is his latest one. I like oh. this new colorway because I think it can go with any outfit. Yeah, because it's all black, not, right? Yes. Shout out to Marquez and Adams for sending this out. I'll of course have these linked down below if you guys want to get your hands on it. What's this box? It's already open. So this is from Casetify. What's this? 
Okay, to find mini pouch. Oh, wait, oh, look, at, look at the rest of the box. This is for the nothing earbuds. You've got a pair of nothing earbuds, oh, don't you, Jay? Yeah. So this is like a double unboxing right here. Oh man, wow. This looks really dope. They've got a very interesting look. Like this thing is really skinny. You've got them in white, Jay? Yeah. The black does look really dope. Sorry, Jay, I'm not trying to make you regret. <laughs> not trying to make you regret over here. And when you throw it inside of here, okay, it's a little bit bigger. That's also maybe to hold down like the cable. So a case for your case. <laughs> oh, oh baby, it's been a while. Check it out, you guys. New Xbox controller. This is the Gold Shadow. This looks sick. Oh, man. That is nice. I love when Xbox has like these gradient designs. They look so good. We're gonna have a special something going on with the uh, Xbox controllers that we've collected over the years in the gamer's paradise. Spoiler alert. It's gonna be sick. Okay, I bought this a while back. So this is the Razer Basil Basilisk version three Pro, V3 Pro. I love how they all share like a very similar design with like the Logitech G502. That's pretty clean. I love how clicky it is. Listen, we've got a lot of options for it because we've got a streaming setup that we're building out right now. You guys might've seen us tease it here and there on social media, uh, but this, this just might be a competitor for that. Also have like the dongle, cables, of course, paperwork. I'm just curious about the RGBs. Let's see if we turn this thing on. Oh, I like that. I like how it has like the RGB strip at the bottom. Yeah, this will look sick on the desk. Absolutely. Oh yeah. So right here, you guys, we have the Meta Quest 3. Now this isn't the typical retail packaging. I think this is like a PR box. Expand your world. Oh, it's actually a lot smaller than I thought. Everything that I've seen about this looks awesome. It's got like this great pass through so that you can basically see the world around you as you use it. So my boy Austin dropped a reel on it where he was doing all kinds of cool stuff like playing the piano, even though he doesn't know how to play a piano because he could see his piano and the Quest 3 was giving him instructions. It looks absolutely insane. And here we have it. This is, it's smaller, isn't it? So this is the headset. I am actually in shock at how small this is. If you like the Quest 2, from everything I've seen so far, Quest 3 is just way, way, way better. It's $499 on Amazon for 128 gigs. 512 is 650. I can't really recommend this just yet, but from everything I've seen, it looks like it might be something a lot of people will look into it for the holidays. We gotta wrap this up because I wanna jump in on that. So this is from Nomad. This is clearly for an AirTag. Oh, it's for the Hydro Flask. If you have a Hydro Flask and you happen to misplace it a lot, this is an accessory from Nomad where you can throw an AirTag in it. It's pretty cool, I like the design of it. Do we have Hydro Flask, Ari? We do. Yeah, I'll throw this on there. See if I, if I had this on, I'd know. <laughs> What's this? Did some, who bought this? Oh, that's, that's Dom. Dom? Yeah. Is this the thing you were talking about? Is this a portable charger? Yeah. Okay, so if you've got a sneaker head in your life, you want to get them a nice gift, you can get them this portable charger. Dom, how much you spend on this? I have no idea. <laughs> it's like 20 bucks. It's micro USB. I was about to ask. And a USB A. Um, this might have existed for a while. I think this could be a decent stocking stuffer. And you bought two of them. <laughs> He's like, what to take home? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give my fiance a little something. I mean. You have two, like one for each foot. Yeah, they're both, they're both <laughs> right. They're both right foot. Love how thoughtful you were though. <laughs> <laughs> Who bought oh, that's, that's it? That's Dom too. Dom, okay, Dom coming in hot. A zero and possibly small, big sound speaker. This is a speaker? Hi. Whoa, that sounded very human. Well, it was a human recording. I was like, who's that? <laughs> like, who, who, who that? I'm curious what that sounds like compared to the actual iPhone. How much you spend on this, Dom? Do you remember? I think it's 20 bucks. 20 bucks? <laughs> Why are they so expensive? <laughs> <laughs> you bought them. <laughs> and we got a potted pen phone stand. Is it just for a prop? Okay, you know what? I'm not mad at it though. I'm, you know what, Dom? 
You know, you're onto something. You got one. That that that'll look dope. Oh, that does look nice. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right. Anybody else want to pick something? Yes. Okay, go ahead. You go ahead. I was just going with the big bottle. Oh. Yeah, I was into the same one. Yeah. All right, all right. What is this? Oh, okay. See, I'm so late on everything. So I bought this for when the game would drop. Spider-Man 2, we got the collector's edition over here. So here is Spider-Man 2. Now I had to get this because my all time favorite version of Spider-Man is the one where he's got the Venom symbiote. Is that what everybody calls it? I'm so used to saying symbiote, but everybody says symbiote. Not nah, symbiote, apparently. Anywho, let's unbox this. Ooh, okay. That is, I love that. That's sick. All right, so the steel bookcase also looks sick. Oh, that's, that's crazy. Comes with the steel bookcase, no game inside of it. No CD, just the digital code. Um, but I'm okay with that. that. At first, the idea of having no disc inside was kind of weird to me, but then after getting like the collector's edition for Final Fantasy and having to take the disc out every time I wanted to play the game, I understand. Um, this is better. When I wanted to play the game in a different location, that is. Another thing from Hodo. This is a, a smart kitchen scale. So this is like a really clean kitchen scale. Uh, the display is at the bottom and you can change the units with this little dial on the side. I like it, I'm not mad at it. All right, I kinda wanna open this really big one that we have over here. This is something else that's supposed to go into the gamer's paradise. Oh, this requires all kinds of assembly. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So we'll put this together after the video, but you might remember in the gamer's paradise, I had this like cool chair that basically had like a built-in speaker where I had like all my handhelds so like, you know, you can play with more immersive sound. This is that X, same X rocker, but this one has like RGB lights and everything. It's, it's got a bit more features. So it's like the perfect update for the new gamers paradise. I'm pumped to put this together. You guys will probably see a bunch of B-roll of it, but it looks really cool. Did I really do this? It's a, it's a, it's a flashlight check. But I think this one's like a really, really high powered. I know, I know. Hold on, let me, there's a reason. I think this one's got like, a really crazy amount of lumens. See the ads. You've seen the ads for this one, yeah, right? They, they went crazy. <laughs> so look at this. I mean, this is. <laughs> Let's see. This is the battery oh. that goes into it. Oh. Oh wow. Oh, oh sorry, oh, sorry, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful where I wield this thing. Come on, fellas. Let's just go to the basement really quick. Okay, it is pitch black in here, but yeah, look how, look how, like. This is a huge light. I promise, no more flashlights. USB-C 5-in-1 Steam Deck dock. Okay, so this is actually kind of cool because you can attach it to the Steam Deck, I guess the back of it, and you add these extra ports. So you strap it onto here, and then you throw this right here, and now you've got extra ports. Does it have a stand on the back? It does. So it has like a little kickstand built into it. Oh, that's genius. Oh, it's a micro SD card slot here too. So ROG Ally, Legion Go, new Q. Make it happen, this is sick. Okay, this is like one of these, uh, the slings, I guess. This one is, I guess, meant to hold bigger devices. I'm guessing like, I would throw in like the Legion Go in here or even the, like ROG Ally. This would be perfect for those kind of gaming devices. So we have our Steam Deck. Yeah, you can throw your Steam Deck in here. Should we veto travel pouches too? No. Along with flashlight? No, oh, okay. not at all. That is <laughs> that is my thing. <laughs> Any guesses? Oh, something with a battery. <laughs> Let's see. You're all wrong. There's also flashlight. It's not another <laughs> flash. So these are the Ray Bands from uh, Meta. So this is the Wayfarer version. So this is the second version of their Ray-Ban glasses. First one was cool, but the second one is definitely a step up. So this is the case that it comes in, which I think is pretty dope. It has a USB-C charger at the bottom. So basically you've got sunglasses that also function with a built-in camera. I think it's on this side. Now I've already got a pair of these, let me see if I've got them on me. All right, so I got this pair while at the Snapdragon Summit. These are the ones that in the sunlight will turn into 
like sunglasses. But I don't know if you guys picked up that sound, but now it's all connected to my phone. I can listen to music and it actually sounds really decent. I can take phone calls with this. The microphones are actually pretty good because they're closer to your mouth than like your standard Bluetooth headphones. And if you want to take a video, there's a button right here. So now I'm taking a video of you guys. I can take a quick snapshot and I think you can control it. Control the volume. Oh. But yeah, these are actually sick. It makes it really easy to capture some content without having like a camera all out in the open. So this is actually really cool. Another flashlight. Oh, listen. I'm really big on the new handhelds right now. And this right here is basically a case for the ROG Ally. You can throw our ROG Ally inside of here, give it some protection. Uh, it's got a built-in kickstand. So you can prop it up there. And then you've got the hard shell cover for the front so you can protect your screen. Now we've been taking forever, but we've been working on like these accessory videos for the Steam Deck the ROG Ally. So those will be coming out before the holidays. Um, but let me know if you guys also want to see one for the Legion Go. Let me know how interested you guys are with a comment down below. All right, last one. Hopefully it's a goodie. Let's see. All right, let's see. I forgot I bought this. So we're, we're really ending it on the handhelds over here. But this is a giant screen for the Nintendo Switch. So this is almost a 12 inch display, almost similar to the 12 inch iPad. I think it's 11.6. All right, so my Switch was dead, so we had to get the portable charger hooked up to it, but that's kind of dope that you can actually have it strapped right onto it. I think with like a short USB-C to C cable, this could be a decent setup. Okay, so matte display. All right, so this is it. Is this touchscreen too? It's not, oof. Okay, this is wild. Playing a Switch with a screen like this, portably, okay. The screen is okay. What do you guys think of it? It looks washed out, right? This is all about like wanting a bigger screen, bigger sound. This thing's a workout. Keeping my arms up like this is nuts. I mean, it's cool. When will I bust this out? I don't know. I think it has kickstands built into it as well. Oh my gosh, does it have a single kickstand? Did they not learn from the original Switch? All right, whatever, it works. But yeah, you guys, that about wraps it up for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, lots of cool stuff here. Shout out to all the companies who sent something over. Favorites, Ari. Definitely the Gundam that, the, that Chris sent over. I like that one too, you know what? Same here, same here, can't be beat. Jay, yours? I like the Venom action figure. Ah, uh, yeah, the figure is definitely dope. Dom? Uh, I'll say the Steam Deck stock, even though I don't have a Steam Deck, but the idea of that. It's cool, okay. That about wraps it up, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy, girl, that gives the video a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing another Massive Tech at the end of the year, so definitely make sure you don't miss that one. Till the next one, you guys. Peace.